If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, Jim, point down below for us. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll get all of our future videos. The reason to subscribe to this channel is exclusive year-round Padres content. We have you covered throughout this Padres managerial search. If you like our videos, give us, give us a thumbs up. And then, of course, uh, follow us on Twitter at John Schaefer at Jim Russell SD. So before we get going, let's tell you about our title sponsor, Mark Nimitz. Because if you're shopping for auto home, renters or life insurance here in San Diego, there's only one place to turn, and that's to a San Diego. Mark Nimitz of Farmers Insurance, he's got over a decade of experience. He helps people like us find the perfect insurance products, no matter what it is. And what's separating Mark from the competition is his customer service and his communication. You can click the link down below. It's in the description. You'll get to Mark's website. Let him help you and your family with your insurance needs. If you have any questions for him, you want to reach out to him. All his information is above my head right there. Phone number, email address, mnimitz at farmersagent.com. That's mnimitz at farmersagent.com. Jim, let's start with Ruben Niebla. Uh, then we'll get to Ron Washington. Is he still in play? But Ruben Niebla has been named officially as the Padres' next pitching coach. So it's a significant hire, and it's a unique one as well, because A.J. Preller went outside of the typical realm of hiring a manager than hiring a staff, and he hired the pitching coach before he hired the manager. Now, with that being said, we're hearing from a lot of sources, it sounds like Niebla was almost too good to pass up. So you get a guy that has local ties, that has spent the better part of 20 years with the Cleveland Indians, has received high remarks from a number of pitchers, that have worked with him in the organization, including Mike Clevenger and including a former Padre in Cal Quantrill. So Ruben Niebla is in. Will this ultimately fix the Padres pitching issues that they experienced last year? Maybe. I, I don't have uh, a clear read on Ruben Niebla. I'm kind of just going off of what other people are saying about him and the reaction to uh, the hiring of him from other teams, especially the Cleveland Indians. And from all accounts, it seems like this guy, everybody loves, you know, like you can't find one single person to say a bad thing right now about Ruben Niebla. It's just all positive uh, from players, from media members, from coaches. It's all positive uh, about Ruben Niebla. So I, I really don't have like, uh, oh, this guy's going to be good or this guy will fix the Padres pitching staff. I just look at what other people are saying and other people right now are saying this is this is a good hire and the and the Indians or the Guardians, excuse me, lost a really good um, pitching instructor, pitching coach in their organization. Now, with that being said, it's hard for me not to have just a tiny bit of a problem with just the hiring process. And maybe they already taught or Preller already talked to all the candidates and said, look, this guy's available. How do you feel about him? We need to go out and get him now. If you end up being, being the manager, would you be okay with this guy as the pitching coach? And he maybe got all of the candidates that he has interviewed so far to sign off on him. And that allowed Preller or gave the green light to Preller to go out and get this guy. Maybe that happened. But, you know, if it didn't happen, and, and I'm, I'm seeing AC and, and Dennis talk about Preller could have more input in the coaching staff, then it's a little worrisome. Because once again, Preller is kind of not getting in the way, but injecting himself into this coaching staff when at the end of the year, he said the new manager would be able to hire his own staff and have a major input in it. And already he's hired a pitching coach without a manager yet. So there's questions there, definitely. Um, but I would hope that for all the candidates that Preller and Seidler and the Padres have interviewed so far, at least for the past week and a half, that they ran Ruben Niebla's name by these guys to get the okay before officially hiring him. If they didn't, then, then yeah, I have a problem with that. But I'm hoping they did because from all accounts, it seems like um, Padres got a really good guy here. Yeah, I'm not sure if they did, to be honest. I mean, I think there's a scenario where they did. And then I also think there's a scenario, like we saw the quotes from AJ Preller yesterday, saying it was too good to pass up. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes you need to go you know, outside the rule book and conventional wisdom. And if Ruben Niebla is available for the first time in 20 years or willing to move on from the Indians organization, and he's seen as a pitching whisperer, and he's had so much success with reclamation products, and he's been uh, credited with turning careers around and getting people on right tracks, 
then they felt as if that was an important move to make. I mean, you think about the pitching staff from a year ago and all the problems. And if you can just get Ryan Weathers right, Mm -hmm. if you can just get Mackenzie Gore right, if you can get these guys pointed in a direction where they can help you, and it's not just the young guys. Blake Snell struggled for a half year. You Darvish struggled for a half year. So there's a lot of work to be done. And, you know, the bullpen was good, although overly used. We'll see if the strategy or the philosophy changes under Niebla in terms of how long starters can go in outings or not. Um, You know, there's not a one-size-fits-all book for pitching, as we know. And I don't think there was, by the way, under Larry Rothschild or Ben Fritz. But it really sounds like Niebla's strength is working with an individual's repertoire and getting the most out of it. And and that's easier said than done. I mean, there's so much that goes into pitching, whether it's arm angle, whether it's velocity, whether it's pitch repertoire, um, command. There, there's just so much that goes into it that, you know, you look at what the Indians have done these last handful of years. The Indians have been a very good team in the American League, and they've been led they've been led by pitching. They've got the best team ERA in the American League since 2013. He's been there that entire time. He's worked in their system as a pitching coordinator, so he's developed guys as they've come up. He's worked in the big leagues as well as an assistant pitching coach. I, I like the hire. Now, it, does it fix all the issues with the pitching? Of course not. Uh, does it mean the Padres win 95 games next year? Of course not. Uh, will it be a perfect fit for the manager? We don't know the answer to it. But I, I can say that I like the hire, and I think it's part of a solution as the Padres look to make up 30 games of ground mm-hmm. in one year. And if you're going to do that, you need to make good decisions. And you know, I think we both agree that it seems, at least on paper and from what we're hearing and, and reading, to be a good decision. Yeah, and, and what I like about the hire the most, while I don't really know much about Ruben Niebla, I like that he's coming from a place where they've had success with their pitchers mm-hmm. and they've had success with developing their pitchers. Because one of the biggest problems with this Padres organization and Preller especially is whoever he drafts as pitchers, like he's just not getting development out of them. They're, they're, the organization is not good at developing prospects, pitching prospects to become like a Shane Bieber or, uh, you know, Cal Quantrill right now. Um, like, like, you know, Clevenger when he was with the Indians. So the development of younger pitchers in this organization has to be like a top priority. And it looks like it is right now for Preller, which is good getting the Abla. Um, so that is what, um, kind of excites me the most about it is just that where he came from they actually had a lot of success with their pitching staff and they had success particularly with developing guys bringing in guys developing them to be serviceable and really good pitchers so you know if he can do that in San Diego like turn Ryan Weathers in around so to say um take Mackenzie Gore get his hands on him uh and make him into the top prospect that the Padres drafted instead of a guy who can't get out of a ball or, or, you know, the AFL, whatever he's pitching in right now. Right. Yeah. Is it the Arizona fall league? Yeah. The fall league. So, yep. um, uh, what about, what about Mike Clevenger? I mean, coming off a second Tommy John. Yeah. But I'm looking at guys that are like prospects that need help that, that are, um, projects like Mike Clevenger, he has to have a he's got a different problem. Like, yes, Niebla could help and he's going to help Mike Clevenger, but Clevenger's coming off an injury and a major mm-hmm. one. Tommy John, his second Tommy John. I'm talking about guys that like, you know, he fixes. The, the whole thing here is like fix them, like fix these guys. Make sure that um, you know, the prospects that the Padres drafted don't all turn into guys that you can't pitch every fifth day because it seems like whoever AJ Preller has drafted. They had, you know, some moments, but eventually they're traded to other teams and they perform way better with their other teams than they did with the Padres. So that's that's the most exciting thing um, about this is that he's coming from a place where he has developed a lot of different pitchers. They've had a lot of success with their pitching staff, and he seems like almost like a, like a pitching whisperer, so to say. I don't know if if he is or not, but. It seems like everyone says that he's he's just really great. 